when you took me out to the porch, there were stacks of prints, stereographs, black and white lithographs, just stacked on the porch, exposed to the weather, to rain, to God knows what dirt blowing out. And they were in pretty bad shape. I started going through, I didn't say anything at that time, I looked through some. And there was two that I saw that I was stunned by, absolutely stunned by. I'd never heard of her before, never. Uh, this is a portrait of Clarence De Shields. Um, and it's a black and white lithograph. And it's, it has so much in it, it's so intense. This is not just a portrait of someone, this is a portrait of their soul. The emotion that's drawn into this is, it's just so powerful. Oh, yeah. This is a prime example of what she put into portraits that she did of African Americans on these okay. pages. When you look at these faces and you can see just the strength in them and the pride in them, and the beauty, and the beauty in them. I think Rooster Rose did it by not only her colored palette, which was quite intense, but she also did it with a movement of line and broken color, which you can see here of a um, man in a blue suit. You can see the, this arabesque type and movements and, and curvilinear forms that are present throughout the painting. With this individual, she concentrated on the head, but you'll see the intensity mm. of the flesh. Type. You know, she saw a family that was like every, every other family. You know, they, were, they worked hard. You know, they were, we were God-fearing people. Um, and we probably wanted the same things that every other family wanted. Um, and back then, when these portraits were, were painted, the world was, you know, very different. Yeah. Where, you know, you, either you were black or you were white, and there were a lot of um, inequalities that were very evident yeah. at the time. Um, and it was almost like a quiet art activism that Ruth Star Rose took on, and my family was a part of that.